back inside. What are you doing out here? Go back inside. Go on, honey. No, Malcolm, no, baby. Go back inside. Go. Go. That's it. Go, honey. Go. Go. Go back. Go, baby. Go back inside. Creatures science refuses to recognize. There's something down there! But if our eyes see it, if our cameras capture it, what is that? Does it exist? Them, they're monsters! Lost tapes. Do you believe? Zombies. In February 2010, a vicious murder threatened to ignite a firestorm in one of New Orleans' Haitian communities. Because of unique circumstances surrounding the incident, police enlisted the assistance of the Enigma Corporation, a private security firm. The group was led by Agent Noel Connor and included tactical specialist Elise Mooney and tech operative Tanner Noble, a rookie on the team. Josephine Ledoux, boarding house owner. Originally from Haiti, was killed last week by this man, Malcolm Clement, former resident of Miss Ledoux. What's the catch? According to Haitian medical records, Clement supposedly died eight years ago. There's no evidence of insurance fraud, any sort of hoax, mistaken identity, literally unexplainable. So we got a dead man walking. The group's mission was simply to retrieve the suspect, believed to be harbored by residents of the boarding house. But what they found inside was a situation more volatile than anyone had anticipated. These are their tapes. This place has been condemned since Katrina. Expect squatters and transients who could be hostile and harboring Clement, who we know is extremely dangerous. The plan is this, we go in quietly, we bring Clement into custody, and we get the hell out of there. Any questions? Who's watching the perimeter? I got that covered. Motion sensors for the front and the back, and remote alarm. If anything comes in or goes, we'll know about it. Is that good enough for you? That's all I needed, thank you. All right, ID badges of the suspect. Ready? Let's Let's rock and roll. Hurrah. All right, go. I'll take the back. Copy that. Open up! We have authorization to take one of your residents into custody. All right, give me a five count. One, two, three. A little faster next time. Okay. Take the right, I'll take the left. Nothing. Clear. I'm in. Copy that. Is that you, Tanner? Was that you? No. The broadest definition of a zombie is a reanimated corpse, a flesh automaton in which life as we know it, consciousness as we know it, has exited the body. Essentially, the human body has been carjacked by a force that reanimates it. Zombies are relentless. They do not fear, they will not be distracted, they do not tire. Think of a zombie as a biting, consuming, guided missile. The flesh-eating zombie has one motive, 
to attack, kill, and devour human beings. This is a biological imperative. They are a walking virus, just as every virus is genetically programmed to spread. Bites are the most common transferal vector for the virus. If you're bitten, you will be turned. Let's check the upstairs. This is interesting. Coming in. What's do? You can be yourself. What's this? What is this, some kind of cult? Are these her residence? Voodoo shrine. Drugs? Maybe neurotoxins? Zombie powder is actually a powerful neurotoxin called TTX, which stuns the brain into a death-like trance. Tetrodotoxin is a toxin that's found in a variety of different animals, including puffer fish and porcupine fish, that basically blocks nerve function. The first sign that you have of being poisoned by tetrodotoxin is getting a tingling or numbing sensation. And as the poisoning gets worse, then you start to feel paralysis. It can be fatal. Tetrodotoxin is more deadly than the same dose of cyanide. Whatever she was doing, she had some sort of powerful hold on them. Hmm. Clement. Looks like we've got some sort of voodoo altar up here on the second floor. Downstairs is clear. Just a lot of crap. Yeah, it stinks down here. What the hell? Oh my. Check that. I got a homicide. Oh my. Check that. I got a homicide down here. Prepare to use deadly force, over. Looks like the real thing is beginning. Whoa. What's up? I got motion outside. No, I got a breach on the rear security. Copy that, check the sensor, then re-secure the perimeter. I'm on my way up, over. Copy. Careful, Tanner. Copy. Okay, I'm at the stairs. Which room are you in? First room on the right. Okay, I'll be right there. This stuff is gnarly. No, you gotta come check this stuff out. Free! I said free! Ah! Police! <sighs> Show me what you found in the bedroom. The only way to kill a zombie is technically the only way to kill a human. Destroy the brain. It, it is possible that parts of your brain could 
uh, cease to function, such as your frontal lobes, while the, the more primitive parts of the brain or the parts of the brain that are in charge of movement uh, could still be functioning. Zombies look like humans. Therefore, the level of decay will determine the age of a zombie. A freshly revived corpse could look very much like a human being, which is one of their most dangerous assets, as they can be mistaken for a live human being. Hello? Anybody there? Here, this doesn't look too good. Copy that. Restrain her for now. We got a situation up here, so use extreme caution. Over. Copy. We're not gonna hurt you. Relax. Are there any known photographs of zombies? Controversial evidence from the heart of voodoo country when Lost Tapes continues.